Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. I'm your host, Troy Signer. I have a comic book review for you, but before I get into that, I want you to do me a favor. Subscribe. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, thank you. It helps with our metrics so we can do more videos like this for you guys for free. All right. Now that my pandering is over, let's just do this. I got a looky looky comic bookie. This one, Heroes Reborn. I really didn't hear much about this before it came out. And uh, I wasn't sure about it before I read it. But after reading it, I, I'm really enjoying this, man. You got uh, Jason Aaron writing it. Uh, Ed McGinnis, penciler, Mark Morales, inker, Matthew Wilson, colorist, and Corey Pettit is the letterer, letterer, letterer. Um, yeah, this, this story, it basically, it's like somebody's rewriting history, and the only person who knows it seems to be Blade. Yeah, that's right, the Vampire Hunter Blade, right? So you got... It starts off with, uh, you know, you, you got the little thought bubbles for Blade. He's been hanging out, eating uh, rats and, and birds and stuff uh, because he that's, he needs to drink some kind of blood. There's no, obviously, there's no vampires in the world now, so he does nothing to hunt. And it starts out, he you know, he's trying to make sense. He's like the only one who remembers how the world used to be. So it starts, you see a kid racing down the street, he's late for school, come to find out, that's Robbie Reyes, the ghost rider, the, the newest ghost rider, the one who drives the, the Hell Charger. And it's kind of cool because Blade, you know, in the garage there, you see the Hell Charger behind him. So yeah, Robbie Reyes, obviously in this world, he had never become ghost rider, and <laughs> They throw a lot of little things in the background, like behind Blade's shoulder here, you see there's a sign to re-elect Coulson for president. <laughs> or re-elect Coulson. I'm guessing president later on. Well, I'm not guessing. I read, I read the whole thing. He is president. It is just, oh, so, so much good stuff. Uh, somebody, like I said, is rewriting the history. So Reyes doesn't know that he was Ghost Rider. you got Doom... Victor Von Doom going up into the front yard there of the White House and he's calling out the president basically saying, hey, you guys took my country and my army, so I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to lay the smack down on you. Layeth the smacketh down. And it's not just Doom. He, he you know, he's talking, he says, oh, I also have the, uh, the gem of Sidorak, which is what Juggernaut has that's what makes juggernaut juggernaut so now you get juggadoom juggadoom and he's not a juggalo but it's juggadoom so you know he's got the the power from sidorak as uh doom but then uh dude comes here there's no no avengers okay uh blade's also trying to find out what happened to the avengers uh tony stark never created the iron man armor uh, Thor is, uh, <laughs> he's on Earth, his, uh, Odin died, and so Thor has just become a sloppy drunk. Um, yeah, like I said, Stark never invented army, never got hit with shrapnel, so he's just a weapon salesman, doesn't really care. But you got, and let me just show you, they, they sent these, they're, uh, your local comic store should have gotten a pack of hero cards, hero and villain cards actually. So instead of Avengers, uh, it's kind of like Squadron Supreme came into power. So they didn't need Avengers, so I guess S.H.I.E.L.D. and um, Nick Fury never assembled them. Oh yeah, and Captain America, they, they all think he's dead, they've never found him frozen. and There was no Avengers, so they didn't find him frozen in the ice. So they have the cards, uh, and you got Hyperion who showed up to fight um, Doom with the, you know, the Jim Sidorak. You got a card for, from a man, Hyperion right there. You know, he's got some of his stats on the back, and he's listed as a superhero because he's part of Squadron Supreme. Okay, that's the first card. I'll try to remember to pull these out as the characters 
uh, appear in the book. So, you, you know, he's fighting Doom. Uh, Doom is surprised at how strong he is. And then it jumps over to Nighthawk. Mr. Nighthawk. I believe there's a card for that man. Let's see. Blade, Mephisto. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nighthawk. Nighthawk has a card also. Yeah, he, he's also listed as super. He's part of the Squadron Supreme. He is, it's got all their stats on the back, you know, who they are, their affiliation, their intelligence, what have you. So, Nighthawk is... Somebody has taken over... Uh, you know, Doom is fighting over at the White House with Hyperion. Nighthawk, somebody has taken over the uh, congressional building there. So, Nighthawk is going in to investigate it. And you're going to love this part. So Nighthawk goes inside, and you have dude over here saying, uh, Hell, Air, Venom, Air, H-E-R-R, -R, you know, like German for Mr. Hell, Air, Venom. And what it is, is if Red Skull had the Venom symbiote, and that's the scary <laughs> Red Skull Venom symbiote right there. Whew. Yeah, and it even tells you there's no no Stephen Strange, no Doctor Strange. Uh, Bleecker Street is just a head shop, it says. Uh, Jennifer Walters, She-Hawk, she's just a lawyer. No special powers. Uh, that's because Bruce Wayne, uh, Bruce Wayne, <laughs> wrong publisher. Bruce Banner, as the Hulk, was uh, exiled. Hyperion put him into the negative zone. And uh, after the first time he hulked out, rampaged. So, you know, there was no blood transfusion for Jennifer to become Hulk. Hulk is in a negative zone prison. I, I, I kind of dig that. And on that same page that mentions all this, you have this dude named Dr. Spectrum. And uh, we have a card for that guy. Dr. Spectrum. Boom, there he is. And I'm not familiar with this guy uh, yeah he's uh he's got some powers there his mystic power prism boom so yeah he is uh, they, they say they see something coming in from outer space and they send him to go check it out and you can see he's flying out of El Pentagono there in DC so he was at the Pentagon he's he's a colonel so he Makes sense he was there. He takes off flying, and one of the <laughs> jets that is accompanying him is flown by, oh, Carol Danvers. But she's not Captain Marvel. No, no, no. She is just a fighter pilot who says, you know, gets in trouble all the time for being insubordinate. Go figure. Uh, so Dr. Spectrum, the cosmic super soldier, takes off, and you see Tony Stark in the bottom, and He's doing his uh, typical Tony Stark thing, making deals for defense weapons. That makes sense. He was at the Pentagon, too. And, you know, every so often you see Blade over here lurking in the shadows. He's trying to figure this all out. You see a statue of old Cap there, Captain America. Card for him, too. But let me show you something. This is the first one Then the top says super villain super villain wow so i don't know if they're going to it says steve rogers maybe they're going to try to pull a kaiser cap out of this i don't know but yeah you got captain america listed as a super villain that's crazy and you're going to see him later here in the comic i will show you so there, everybody thinks he's dead <laughs> they uh Obviously, you don't have Flash to have this dude called Blur. Blur, because he's so fast. They, <laughs> since there was no Avengers, you had, uh, you know, the twins, Wanda and Pietro Maximoff, who, depends on which iteration you look at, they were children of Magneto, or maybe not. Depends on which iteration. She... 
let me explain how I can explain this. Something happened to Petra. She absorbed his powers also. Uh, the, uh, so now she has super speed and uh, chaos magic. So she has a new name. She's a super speed sorcerer called Silver Witch. I'm not sure what I think about that. That's a... Uh, that's a new one to me, but yeah, you know, like I said, they're mixing everybody up. So you got Silver Witch. Uh, you don't have Wonder Woman, but you have this. Uh, do we have a card for her? Yes, we do. You have Power Princess. Uh, she's also a superhero. So we only got one super villain card right now. This is Zarda Shelton. Part of I, I wasn't a big Squadron Supreme fan. But obviously, whoever wrote this book was because they're they're basically taking the place of the Avengers in this rewritten world. So she's fighting all Gog, the unstoppable all Gog. Weird, weird stuff. So you know, uh, I told you, Doctor Spectrum, right? Flew out of the Pentagon. He's up in space, and uh, he can't believe what he's seeing. This big fist kind of you see all the multicolored fist thingies. At first I thought maybe it was some type of green lantern thingy with all the constructs, but I was wrong. It was it was even better. It was Thanos. Thanos Thanos. And he has it's not an infinity gauntlet in this reality. It's infinity rings. He's got rings on. Uh, and then you know it shows another one with blade creeping around. Trying to figure out stuff. Uh, a couple advertisements. A lot of advertisements this month. Uh, then, uh, so Blade goes to Norway. Uh, who else would be in Norway but? But Thor. Also listed, this is our second supervillain card. So he's listed as a supervillain. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty much a, a heavy drinker. You know, uh, he never, he was, you know, Odin sent him to Earth to teach him humility. Uh, that's the same. But he never reclaimed his hammer. He never did find Mjolnir again. Then Odin died, and Thor just went off the rails, man. He is, uh, this is just drunk. I mean, he's not sloppy. He's still, he's not like in-game Thor with uh, the Lebowski body. This is just Thor with bulging muscles and drunk. And Blade's trying to convince him, hey man, you know, you're a god. You remember the Avengers, blah, blah, blah. And Thor's trying to get upset with him and ends up just puking on his shoes. <laughs> so that was Thor's interaction with Blade. He just barfed on him. Cuts back to Nighthawk. Nighthawk is fighting the Red Skull Venom dude, Air Venom. And then Blade pops in. And Blade's like, hey man, I'm, I'm trying to find out what's going on. I'm trying to find somebody who understands uh, that this is not the actual reality. And I can see in your eyes, you, you remember something. And Nighthawk's like, hey man, I'm, I'm fighting, I, I'm fighting a, a bad guy. I'm trying to save all the congressmen. And in the meantime, you keep, Nighthawk has a, a communication Thing in his helmet, I guess he's talking to the president, and the president requests for him to save the congressmen in descending order according to their fundraising prowess. That hits so true that I could actually believe that would happen. Uh, then it flashes back over in front of the White House with uh, Hyperion and Doom. Jug of Doom fighting, and Coulson walks out. That's how we know Coulson's president, right? He walks out of the front of the White House. Uh, the Secret Service staff's trying to tell him, hey, man, we need to get you safe. And he's like, no, man, look, look at this. Have you seen anything more beautiful than what's going on now? And it shows a big splash page of all the Squadron Supreme fighting all the villains. I... Uh, I'm not sure where this is going. Why would Coulson want that? I, I'm not sure. So then, Blade is going back. And he's he's uh, looking for something, and you know he's 
He's letting his vampire nose guide him. He can smell blood, no matter how faint, from far, far away. And Thor, <laughs> you know, there's a little inset, two panels. Thor's asking for more mead, and he's going to slam his, uh, and he's not even, he, true Norse fashion, he's drinking out of a cow horn. And he goes to slam it down. All he sees is a lightning flash and uh, something's there. I'll show you later. But then Blade is going down this, and it looks like the Antarctic is a big ice place. Told you I'd show you. Mjolnir just mysteriously appeared to Thor. Just out of nowhere. Don't know why, just bam. Hey, there's Mjolnir. And you can see Thor's eyes. He's He doesn't know what's going on either. Then it goes down and you see Blade where he was going down into this big ice flow, which I can only assume is North or South Pole, some place where it's frozen really hard. And he found Cap. You know, in this world, everybody thought Cap was dead and wrote him off. There were no Avengers to go find him in the ice. Uh, but Blade remembers that he was found there, so that's how he sniffed him out, even though he's frozen in ice. You know, he's a vampire. He, he sniffs the blood. He knows he's there somewhere. He found him. And that's where it ends. So Blade has found Cap. Not sure how he's going to get him out of that thick sheet of ice, but I'm sure he will. And it goes and it shows some more, like, uh, some artwork. I, get, I don't know if they're going to bring these characters in or not. Probably. Well, Silver Witch, they already, did, uh, uh, they already brought her in. And instead of Alpha Flight, we have Final Flight. And dude, Sasquatch just looks so much meaner there, right? I like it. Uh, Weapon X and Aurora, they have here. They don't say if they're good or bad. And uh, Girl Power Falcon and Kid Spectrum. Uh, they got a little montage page of what's to come. You're going to see a lot of those other characters there. Uh, Reed, Reed Richards from Fantastic Four. Uh, Groot and Rocket. There's Hulk, but I thought he was in a negative zone. Uh, and th there's a lot of different characters that we're going to be seeing. There's Super Scroll, uh, Alpha Flight, Final Flight. It looks like Wolverine is going to be part of uh, Final Flight in this. Thor must get his form back. And there he is swinging the hammer. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, I'm really intrigued on this one. I can't wait to see where they go with this. It just looks so... And then the rest is advertisements. I, I, I like this retelling. I like when they mix characters like that. This is it kind of reminds me of uh, if you had taken Secret Warps and mixed it with What If <laughs> type thing. And that's, uh, that's my review for Heroes Reborn. It's Secret Warps, Warps with a P, mixed with What If. I liked it. I, I, I'm really looking forward to the second one. I want to know who manipulated reality to be where Squadron Supreme is the the main heroes, and why are they listing Thor and Captain America as villains? Um, oh, you know, I forgot to show you a few cards. Blur. They're actually showing as a superhero. So uh, since he was fighting. With Silver Witch, I can only assume that she's going to be a villain then, right? So Blur, Blur. Yeah, he's, uh, I'm not sure. I never heard of that. that I, I wasn't a big Squadron Supreme person, so. Uh, I forgot to show you also Blade. I mean, he's through the whole thing. And they're listing Blade as a super villain, really? Because he's the one trying to... I guess if you're not a Squadron Supreme, then you're a villain. So yeah, they got Blade as a villain. And unless I missed him, Mephisto. I don't know if he was in the background somewhere. Um, yeah, but there's Mephisto and then you just, you have the title card. So that is my review of Heroes Reborn. Definitely subscribe to it. I liked it a lot. It was a really good read. Uh, if you like uh, different takes on actual Marvel history and I subscribe don't pull subscribe that being said man if you like this video you like this review 
subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do, you just take your mouse and you move the cursor right there and click. See? See how easy it was? You're subscribed now. And while you're at it, now take your mouse cursor and move it up to the bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever we put up a new video. And until you see that new video, later nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of cash do you play, girl? In an RPG.